So this is a huge market, no pun intended. We were one of the early groups looking in this country at, at UltraShape outside of the study. And uh, this was one that was disappointing. You know, I, I, uh, they, they gave the device out and you had to buy it later and they made it a very reasonable sort of offer. But in the end, it was something that didn't, didn't pan out for us. And so we went over to Cool Sculpting and uh, have found much better results, but it is just focal. It's limited to the footprint of the device, which is a great limitation. So in the end, it's probably going to be some combination of these cooling devices, uh, probably Kybella or some of the pharmacologic devices, and then skin tightening that are going to get the best results. So RF, I'm going to talk about one of the RF devices. Um, the one I'm talking about today is a monopolar RF device. So we know these treatments can be very time consuming, sometimes an hour in length, which is a lot. If you're going to do six different areas, you're going to have that patient in the office all day and someone has to do the procedure. So it's um, cumbersome. So it, by using two megahertz, you can increase the temperature quicker and potentially have a shorter treatment session. 80% of subjects in the treatment group reported improvement, which is great, because in our practice, I would say, I usually tell people, 60% of people are thrilled with these treatments, body sculpting treatments, the other 40 are like, eh, maybe. So an 80% is, is a great result on that. So conclusion, they've looked at this new RF device. We know RF devices work, there are a bunch of them on the market, but to understand exactly how warm you wanna get it for how long, it does help to get to that temperature quicker. Um, how often you want to treat. There is fat thickness reduction shown by MRI and um, circumferential reduction also shown by MRI and, and ultrasound. And then in the fourth protocol was um, Dr. Taub's study showing that 15 minutes per area can reduce fat. I've been experimenting with doing high frequency ultrasound, uh, the Althera machine, um, and getting fairly nice results. And women are coming in and doing this every six months and are very happy with their booties. So this is the booty evolution going on at the Miami Skin Institute right now. Another trend we're seeing is that chest sizes are coming down. Um, and so, you know, I know that when I go to plastic surgery meetings, the plastic surgeons are always sort of lamenting that they have to do more lifts than enhancements now. Um, but, you know, it's been good for us, in my opinion. And then the last area, I've been doing a lot of work on the hands. Um, I'm using a lot of uh, radio frequency unipolar, again, the Viora machine, my unicorn. Love it for the hands. I, you know, I don't think that putting filler in the hands is necessarily the answer. I think tightening the skin often is a great result too. And where I start is on the knuckles and then the dorsal wrist, and that turns out really nicely. Um, I like PRP a lot for the hands for this sort of skin tightening as well. Um, so with the older ladies, I'll do that and then get very nice results. They're very happy. When we're talking about consistent results with cellulite, you have to always address four different components. First, there's fat, then there's the fibrous bands that are there, and then you talk about the skin laxity, or in this case we say blood flow just to keep it with the Fs, and then the last component is fitness, and let's address each one of these and see what we can do. So for fat, there's a lot of different ways to do it. What I've seen as my go-to right now is the Vanquish Me um, leg applicator here, and it's easy to use. It takes between 20 and 30 minutes depending on what, you what time you get to that ideal temperature. And what you're hearing from the panel as well as the discussion with Amy, uh, Dr. Taub, is really RF is RF is RF. Pick which company you like that can allow you to get the consistent heat for long enough time. And that's what's gonna be the important portion. Then you wanna treat the fiber span. So we got rid of the fat, right? And you have to really put your fingers on that person and make sure, is it truly fat or is it something else? And so we know that these fiber septa are sitting underneath the skin. They're causing this dimpling that's in there. So this is the second component of cellulite. So how do you pick and choose? Well, here's one device that a lot of uh, our colleagues use. So this is what's called Selfina. You can also use uh, Dr. Taylor's Liberator. So this is a neat device. If you haven't played with it, it's very reasonable. And again, it's a, it's a no disposable type device. Or in our case, we can use a Norcore needle, which costs about $2.50. So at the end of the day, it's a question of how do you break up those fiber spans? Just like the fat, what's destroying the fat? And here, how do we break up the fiber spans? How about blood flow? How do we improve that laxity? Well, I showed you one of those, which is the acoustic wave device, but you can also use a combined radio frequency and ultrasound, or you can do just a plain ultrasound, like the high intensity focused ultrasound. So this particular device has something called a Peltier cooler. So you can adjust the temperature on that little contact point. And if you decrease the temperature to 10 degrees or so, you're gonna destroy more fat, and as you try off the temperature you're going to cause more heating on the superficial portion here so thank you so much